What is your um, expectation in terms of regulations uh, under, a, under a Biden administration? Uh, there's obviously a number of executive orders that are going to go into effect. And, and do you credit any of the uh, removal of regulations or what some people describe as a pro-business environment, the encouragement of the president under Trump uh, to remain uh, under President Biden? Meaning, what's that relationship between the business community and the president uh, going to be? Well, I think on regulation, um, the, it was more actually the imagery of the removal of regulation that uh, uh, Trump came. Yes, many of them, many of the most agree, many of the most impractical ones were removed. And hopefully that stays. You, you know, uh, progressives don't have to uh, over strangle much of I think anything currently. So I'm not so sure. I mean, yes, relative to oil, drilling and things like that and, and environmental issues. Uh, but some of the environmental regulations made no sense. We all know that. So one hopes it's just prudent. One thing that I would hope would happen is, it's certainly a topic of the moment, is relative to uh, communications, mass media communications in Section 230, which says that uh, basically these big platforms are, quote, not publishers. Well, the truth is they are publishers now. They made the choice, I think, wisely. Well, I don't actually think wisely. I, I think if they'd done it under a strict policy guideline rather than simply say we're going to take this person or that person off, uh, and they'd issued it with very clear policies of what could and could not be said, and in the context of that, removed whoever was violating those policies would have been probably better. But once they did that, once they removed, once they began that, they are publishers. You cannot get away from that. Since they are publishers, then the question is, what do we need to do? I'll do it this way. Uh, I think we should have, if it's I think it related to colors. There's a color called blue. You can't say blue is not blue. You can say you don't like blue. You can say you don't like the people who like blue. You can comment on any of that, but you can't say blue is not. This goes back to the very beginning of the of the of the past administration, where on the first hour of the first day, the administration said. There were more people here than ever. You looked at the picture, you looked at the other picture, and it was not true. It was a lie. So I deeply believe that what we've got to do is get some standard of fact and not Barry, allow but, and anything holds, clearly that can be factual. But who is who is going to hold who holds uh, what? Who companies, holds in this out? case, responsible? And the reason, the reason I ask that is, it's one thing to talk about the quote unquote platform of a Facebook or a Twitter. But now in the context of Parler, for example, we're talking about these things moving up, quote unquote, the stack. So now the responsibility appears as if companies like Apple and Google, which are removing them from their app stores, are, are taking responsibility or even the service uh, server providers, effectively, in this case, AWS, but maybe Google Cloud in the future or an Oracle. Meaning, how do you look at those tiers of responsibility? You, you you take all the tiers of the responsibility to the issue at hand, which is you cannot allow you cannot allow false, untruths, lies. That you can't do. You can have opinion, but you can't have lies. How do you deal with that? It's difficult, but it is hardly impossible. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.